Hello! This is another episode of the Cyclops Chronicles. We're, we're gonna talk about this. Th this being the thing that future me is going to edit in about now. Uh, this is an experiment I did on Twitter the other day. You see, it looks like these are just two pictures of me without my eye patch. They are, in fact, two composite pictures. Each one has a picture of me with my eye patch and one without, uh, separated by a little bit of space. And this was an experiment to test Twitter's uh, cropping algorithm. And the experiment confirmed my suspicion. The cropping algorithm thinks the picture of me with an eye patch is less of a human face than the one without. Now this isn't an intentional thing that Twitter has done. What's happened is that when this algorithm was being programmed, it was fed data, data about human faces. It suggests that very little of the data given to this algorithm to build its basis on, in fact, probably none at all, included data about people with visible disabilities or people like myself who need to wear an eye patch. Now, this is a result of people not considering disabled people when programming these features to begin with. A problem that could easily be solved by having more disabled people in the room when these things are being developed. More disabled programmers, that kind of thing. Now I'm talking about this because a few weeks before, possibly a month or two ago, I also noticed something. See, I've had a decline in views here on YouTube for a while. And it's only within the past month or so that I realized this decline in views began exactly when I started wearing an eye patch in all of my videos. So I can only assume that YouTube's algorithm has a similar flaw to Twitter's. That it is counting my face with an eye patch as less of a human face than one without, than my own face without. Okay, so we're going back pretty far, and you can see that a lot of these videos, some of them are unlisted, so they don't have views, but a lot of these videos have, like, usually around 200, sometimes up into the thousands of views. A good few of them are into the thousands. Um... And they're usually around two to three hundred. However, except the unlisted ones, obviously. However, we get to here. We get to my eyeball is broken. Uh, Queen Maeve was the last video I made without my eye patch. All the rest of these that I feature in and that are listed have my eye patch. And you can see there's like a massive drop. All around, they're, they're lucky if they even break a hundred for the most part. And it's just, just very, very interesting. And obviously this is a problem. This affects representation in a way. Because while there are probably more creators than you think on this platform and on other platforms, who have visible disabilities, like my eye pouch or like other things, they are being promoted less by the algorithm because the algorithm doesn't consider them human. 
because the people who programmed it never considered us. Now this doesn't have just affect people with disabilities. Black people have been noticing the same problem. People have posted similar pictures to the one I did of a white person and a black person. And it was always the white person that the algorithm chose to focus on. Suggesting a similar lack of data being fed into the algorithm, suggesting a similar lack of consideration being put into programming the algorithm. And of course, that would be part of why there are a great many black creators on YouTube, which I know myself, I'm, I'm friends with several, yet their videos don't get promoted very much. They rarely appear in the recommended list, they very rarely appear on the front page. And again, the solution to that is having more black people in the room when these programs are created, hiring more black programmers. Now, obviously, this has affected my reach with this channel. It's affecting my ability to earn money through this channel. Thankfully, this channel is not supposed to be about earning money. The money is nice as a bonus, but... It means I'm having to work at a distinct disadvantage to my... It means I'm having to work at a distinct disadvantage to my abled colleagues. Which is clearly not ideal. YouTube, Twitter, probably Facebook and Instagram as well. Most platforms. TikTok, I believe, actively, actively takes down videos by visibly disabled people to prevent bullying. All of these digital platforms, they need to do better. They need to make sure the algorithm they're using isn't biased. They need to make sure their algorithm isn't bigoted. Because technology is not in and of, in and of itself neutral. Technology is only as neutral as the people who program it.